The Krawa constituency is located within the Great Accra region. Residents here are predominantly Ga. The constituency is a fishing community and can boast of a well-equipped landing beach located at Fashi. Krawa also doubles as a commercial community due to its location. The Krawa Municipal Assembly, Kroma, was carved from the Lojokuku Krawa Municipal Assembly in March 2018. There are 99,825 electorates in this constituency with 12 electoral areas. Elections in this constituency have generally been peaceful, but the Nungwa Authority polling station in the Sopoti electoral area has been the hot spot. This polling station has repeatedly experienced clashes between NPP and NDC during the counting and coalition of ballots, thus the 2012 and 2016 general elections. <laughs> is also a swing constituency. Out of the seven parliamentary elections since the return to democratic rule in 1992, the NDC has won four times and the NPP thrice. But some of the residents here in the Crowa constituency say they are not going to vote this election year. According to them, they have been deceived by the various political parties, especially the members of parliament, as they make vague promises to let them and immediately abandon them thereafter. The major challenges in the Crowell constituency are the road networks and open defecation. The road network from Opoegono and adjoining communities are in a deplorable state for the past 20 years, despite being in affluent parts of the constituency. What confounds the residents is that roads have been a major talking point every election year by all the candidates, but they are still being taken for a ride. Her stylist Mabna says these markings were taken in July as measurements for fixing the road, yet nothing has come out of them. Yeah, quite. If you say better, about 2003, and free. I have a seat this side. The Akanina, the Bia Fibia, a bear quine, a bear quine, by a quino, said the Etienne, the Senya. I feel beyond Besusu. Almost me be juice bear four times a year, but Yan Far Cotanguso. A cobbler, Richard Mason, is also tired of this deceit by the politicians. Who's no more higher quine once I'm no mocker? Say yet to quine who ye, Jimmy Dusty Boy and Tia to Abba Mama, or my aquino, and I am Mujina, or money a casa. Oh, my, oh, my. The road network in Adogono is no different. If cars are passing here, it's very difficult for them to get there. Even if you want to take a taxi to that place, it's very difficult. Some of, some of them don't want to go and so on. During the lockdown, they came to survey the land and also the road and uh, came to put some measures to it that they can do it back. They only do one side of the road and leave one side. All of them promised what they wanted to do for us, but none of them have done their promises. But there are some works ongoing from the Opoe Gono through Spainters, Rainbow to the Zenith Bank. This drain, which used to cause flooding in the area, especially coastal down, has also been fixed. But some road users are not fooled, even though some hail the ongoing construction. Election time no be swan and sana or mo I speedy up say or mo ye a ye a quain and omu because omu omu nyanu from the beginning into the emma or mo ya na omaya no shoddy because omu time I was a nyamano and wu and son omu cast concrete ni nyama they just speed up and then do it just like that and then leave it. 
and the Vetuman, and yes, a Ubia Banaba died. Say to Mammy, may yes, say, may yes, no bar, and one on five in my. They started this project, I think, 2018, and the cutters they've been able to construct the gutter, which will link it to the uh, um, Lekma Road. After laying these curves, that would be a big relief for the people in this area. Open defecation is also a major challenge here. Only 11,200 out of the approximately 14,000 households in the Crowell constituency have access to improved toilet facilities in their homes. The rest resort to the 21 available toilets while the others openly defecate. Houses here, especially at Nungwa, are priced according to the facilities available for tenants. Single rooms in compound houses without toilet facility go for 60 and 70 Ghana cities per month, while houses with toilet facility charge almost 100 cities. mentally. <laughs> Car number by train, car no to J three hundred, three million. No, I can't do and check. Now I am a fair issue every man who knows it in that time over three months time. Now as I am a now says that's car, your contribution, yeah, yeah, no. Now you're not so I figure no three hundred, you know. Let's not be waha and say be more qua on the qua qua yes on a car. The distance is somehow far, so before you get, get there, even if you have to join the queue, there's a queue there you have to join, so it's giving us problem. Those that have uh, public toilets in the house, the rent is too high. If you can afford, you have to go for the ones that don't have uh, facility in the house. Regardless of these challenges, the game of politics is a busy one here. The major streets are adorned with colorful party colors, as well as posters, dominant being that of the two major parties. The incumbent MP, Elizabeth Afolekwe, says she's a mother for all in the constituency. She's banking her hopes on some of the developmental projects undertaken by her government. This includes an 18-unit classroom block and boys' dormitory ongoing at the Nungwa Senior High School, a two-story building with auxiliary facilities at Nungwa Zongo, and the 7-kilometer boundary road. Her fiercest contender is Agnes Namomolate, who says she's a grassroots person and looking to give Afole a keen contest. Some of the residents are rooting for her due to some basic support they receive. This also includes her promise to fix the road networks in the constituency. She's very genuine. I think that uh, if she becomes the MP for the constituency, things will move. She has seen most of the problems in the constituency, so to speak, uh, starting with roads, as I said. Personally, I think that if these roads are all well tarred and all the roads in there are well tarred, will be just as good as any other suburb, any of the high suburbs in Accra. She has promised to fix the roads. She has uh, done a lot in terms of trying to create uh, b business for the ordinary people who are roaming around with their jobs. So we are taking her on her word. I'll base my vote on uh, the trust I have for the parliamentary candidate I've met. But incumbent Afole is not without her support base. In Yaji Pass, eh, say no Baba Yajuman, a suya suya, a bet to me, they are sure, and they are tanichi, and to a yeni bibri am I, and they are so any pa, and you see a ginseng and care your vote to mana. It be our continuous ever to my boy. So, who wins the 2020 parliamentary elections in the Crowell constituency? Only December 7 has the answer. Evelyn Arabayedu, GH1 News.